Hey, it's Dan here, Vivid Racing, VR Tune, Freeling Racing, everything ECU tuning is what I do and we do. And today I'm going to show you a brand new feature of the Freeling Racing iFlash for the Polaris ME17.9.74 ECU. We've got here a new Polaris RZR Turbo S, and with our iFlash client, we can now read out the full 1504 kilobyte file. No parcel reads, no encrypted reads from other tools. We can read the full file so you can truly customize in tune the exact software number for the Polaris. So any Polaris M17 or ME17 can now be read and of course written in full with the Freeling Racing OBD2 Diagnostic Port iFlash tool. So I'm gonna show you how that works here. Okay, we have the key in the ignition and we've got the cable connected here on the port. And we're gonna go through the prompts here. So next, 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 and it pulls up our VIN. We're gonna choose our ECU type, which is ME17. Correct. Next. And we are gonna choose read ECU memory. Now this is something that nobody else is doing. None of the big tool manufacturers, Dimsport, Alien Tech, any of those are doing uh, diagnostic reads on the Polaris ECUs. Um, if you were to use DinoJet, this is only reading partial file. Um, and this is doing it within their system, so you can't actually extract this file to tune in a uh, tuning software such as WinOS or any other uh, professional software. So here's how it works. Just read ECU memory. We'll go ahead and save that file. We've already read it once. So now we're going to go through the read process. And reading the full 1504 is all the maps. It doesn't read the 32-bit EEPROM. But you don't need that. You only need the full 1504 kilobyte file. Uh, it takes about 10 minutes to read where programming only takes about two to five minutes at most, as you've seen from our other videos. Um, so we'll let that do its read. Um, and again, with the iFlash, these are available in master, slave, and end user tools. The master cable, like we have plugged in here, is what a tuning shop would have. This allows you to flash cars any car that you want, no lock to VIN. Slave cables are perfect for dealers, so if you have a dealer network, dealers can have the slave cable, and then you encrypt and decrypt, or you decrypt the read, make the tune, encrypt the uh, write, and lock the file to the VIN, so they can only flash each vehicle one time. They can't use files on multiple cars. And then you have end user cables. End user cables are sent out to customers. This allows the customer to read out their ECU, send you the file where you decrypt it, make the tune, encrypt it, email it back to the customer, and they can flash their vehicle. So they can easily flash between tuned and stock or any other map revision you may send them. So end users are perfect for large e-commerce companies or companies and tuning shops with a large global or uh, um, domestic clientele so you can send a cable to anybody anywhere so they can do the tuning without removing the ECU from their vehicle so it makes it real convenient so we are um, a quarter of the way through here almost and we will show you how that ends up here shortly okay we have about 20% left of the read uh, you can see it's taken 11 minutes and we're almost done here and then we'll have the full read to take a look at where we can make our tune. So this is great for all the new Polaris models that are coming out. Um, not everybody has original files ready. So with this tool, you can easily just read out the file, get what you need so you can make the all new tune file. Um, so yeah, it's, it's almost done here and it's gonna be very convenient for Polaris ECU tuning going forward. Real excited about this new feature that we have with the iFlash software. So we'll wait here, we've got another 17%, and then we'll be done with it. We have just 6% left now on the read. Uh, once it's done, all we gotta do is turn the ignition off, and it is complete. You don't have to leave anything plugged in. Um, from there, we can open it up in our file editor, make the changes, um, so not much more to it. We'll count down here, we've got 4% left. And remember, you can learn more and see prices on our ECU tuning at vrtune.com. 
If you're a dealer and you want more information, have your own tuning tools, you want to go to Freeling, F-R-I-E-L-I-N-G dash group dot com. So it's Freeling dash group dot com or just come to vrtuned.com. As always, you can shop all awesome UTV parts on our website, vividracing.com. So we now have the read complete, uh, 1%, and it's done. So you can see here we can open up the folder, and right here we have the 1504 kilobyte full read is complete. So now we just want to turn the ignition off, and we're done. So that's it. That's how the uh, new Freeling Racing VR tuned iFlash system works. This is a 2018 Polaris RZR Turbo S. We can now read all of the Polaris M17, ME17 ECUs to make tuning more convenient, faster, and even better for your performance needs. So let us know. Leave us a comment. Subscribe. Let us know if we can help you out with anything. See you at the next one.